sunshine. Good morning. Sunshine. The sun is about. I'll take its head up. There it is. Beautiful. There's a <clears throat> Mount Olympus here in Salt Lake. You guys see me taking pictures from there a lot uh, instead of of there but normally in the morning time that's what you're you're seeing you're just watching the sun rise right above that good morning everybody thank you for for coming this one is a little bit of a tough one for me to talk about today so we'll see if i end up even posting it um but i wanted to talk a little bit today um I want to share a little bit about my journey, and then I also want to um, thank, I, I send a huge thank you to Jillian Haley. Um, so first of all, in regards to energy work, I really have been doing it and studying it my entire life, and studying alchemy in, in different various forms, as well as metaphysical things, but also different religions and philosophies and, and things. It's kind of just been like a weird lifelong obsession. Hi, you guys. It's good to see you. Um, <laughs> Good morning. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So like I said, these subjects, very, very wide variety of subjects have been kind of an obsession my whole life. And as, as, as far as actively and consciously practicing energy work with a knowledge of what it was that I was doing, I've been doing that for 13 years. So since I was about 19 years old, um, 18, 19 years old. And during that time, it's never really felt very good right in my tummy and my body and my heart and stuff to charge for my services which is a really confusing thing for me because in my ex in my studies of this I, i've come i've come to have some teachers not only i mean to be honest my favorite teachers i've ever had passed long before i was uh long before i was born in this incarnation so i've, I've learned most of their things from reading and studies but i've had some extraordinary teachers in this life and i've loved I've, I've been honored to, to pay them. I really have. I've been honored to give them um, money. So I think that it's been a lot, it's hard for people to take me seriously sometimes as a legitimate teacher because of the fact that I don't charge for my services. Um, and yet, oh my gosh, so pretty. And yet, um, I've understood the concept of energy exchange for many years and I understand it intricately and I honor it and I believe that people. Um, I know that many, many people who um, are energy healers have such a deep relationship with their higher self that their higher self has directly told them to charge for their services, and they should. Those are priceless services. So it's complicated for me because um, I know my relationship with my higher self well enough to know at this point and honor that it would tell me if that was my way, if that was what I was supposed to be doing. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And yet I have a, a really difficult situation on my hands because I, you know, I've worked since I was 14 years old and I, I quit my job in November so that I could focus myself 100% on a mission, um, which is kind of, you know, endangering the, the situation of my family. Yes, happy birthday to India. What? I didn't know that. That's freaking amazing, Ira. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, yeah, so... Um, in any case, when it comes to, to energy exchange, that's something that I really deeply honor and I, and I feel that um, these are priceless services and yet I also respect my, my higher self and the relationship I have with my higher self well enough to know that if that was right for me, my heart would tell me that that was the right thing for me. Sorry, I, you've got, you guys have got me in my PJs today. I'm very tired. I'm actually going to probably go home and rest again. But... Um, I've been giving away these services for free for a long time, it, not just since I started this mission on a public level. You know, when I buy crystals and I give them to people in public, I pay for those with my own, continue. <laughs> I pay for those with my own money, I always have, and those, I don't even tell people I'm on a mission most of the time, unless they ask me, I just, I'm just trying to see people have a much better day. But this is also, um, You know, in some ways, it's kind of put my family in a, in a, a circumstances that are not the greatest of circumstances. We're not even sure where we're going to live in a month. Um, it's, I'm really conflicted because I know that my heart is, is directly telling me that that's not my path. And yet, um, 
I don't know how I can continue <laughs> being a missionary if it's going to endanger my, my child, my, my Lucas, my, you know, I could go live in a tent and I would be literally okay with that. I have no problem with that at all. It'd probably be in some ways a dream come true for me, but I can't do that to my child. And so this is just complicated. And, and I think that when I do these things, especially because I always tell people that they just, all I really care about is that they share kindness and that if they can, um, if, if it's possible for them in, to, to donate financially that I'd love it but I'm just trying to give these services to the to the single mothers out there and to the uh, to the people in the down and the out and the people that really cannot afford these services and that I've been in that place so many times I desperately wanted someone who cared about me enough to help me when I couldn't afford them and those were the ones who needed my help the most who I feel like have needed my help the most you know, the people who are suicidal, how do you tell someone who's like ready to jump off a bridge or something? Where I need, just need you to pay up first. You know, it's really hard. And so even asking, even talking about donations is a really hard thing for me. So this is just a moment for me to give a little bit of a shout out because I think most of the people who I've worked with, I live by what I say. Many people who watch this will know how much I've helped them, but I don't talk about it publicly because I live by what I say of of not fixing or helping somebody else to fix their crown and then telling other people about it. So I never go around telling people who I've helped big names, even in the community and things like that. I don't tell other people that so nobody really knows. And yet, <laughs> um, I think everyone assumes that somebody else gives and that they're the ones giving kindness and somebody else gives uh, donations. So, um, the part of the reason I wanted to do this shout out today is because last night I received a hi <laughs> a train because last night I received my the very very first donation I've ever received in my entire life for my services and for $33.33 which was so freaking amazing and I just want to give a shout out to Jillian because she doesn't know that she's the first person who's ever done this I'm sure this is going to be a surprise to her um because I like I said I don't tell people that but it really is the very first time ever in 31 years I mean I I really think honestly that I've been trying to do this since I was three so since I could smile hard enough at people so I just wanted to say I'm just so grateful for Jillian and even whether I'm able to keep doing this mission or not, I'll never be able to stop doing this mission, but whether I can keep doing it like this or not, I'm never, ever, 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 mm -hmm. ever going to forget that. I'm never going to forget this wonderful gift that you gave me, Jillian, and I never forget the gifts all of the rest of you give me. The gifts that I get from, from the people that I work with are priceless too. They are absolutely priceless, but there is something to be said for a first time of something and it just felt really good and I just want Jillian to know how much I appreciate that, how much I appreciate her and how much I've appreciated. Honestly, I appreciated just all of her amazing kind words and comments and things so much, but I just had to give a shout out about this because it really, it's really thrilling for me. So, um, and again, you know, I don't have anything against, I honor teachers that charge for their services. I don't want to not be taken seriously for my services because I don't charge for them, but I cannot believe how good that felt. I wept. I called my mom and I just wept. I was so excited. So anyway, I love you all like crazy and Jillian, thank you so freaking much. I will never, ever, ever, ever forget this.